Go to Jay, and then this uh, young lady right here. Uh, Jay Pennel with Front Stretch and All Left Turns. Have you talked to uh, Trevor Bain at all uh, about his condition or what's going on with him? And then also Chris Busher, you know, 18-year-old, making his first start. I just talked to him. He said he, when he got the phone call, he almost thought he was in trouble. You know, uh, <laughs> who so called him? You know, I think I think Robbie called him. I'm not too sure. Yeah, but. Robbie can be a pretty intimidating guy. So I mean, like, have you gone and talked to Chris at all and kind of given him advice on you know what to expect coming into today? I have not talked to Chris, um, but but hopefully we'll get a chance to talk a little bit before the race. Uh, you know, and and I'm I don't know exactly what's going on with Trevor. I, I've I've got to know Trevor just a little bit, um, like you guys have. Uh, here lately and I, I he's a real strong young man physically mentally emotionally you know I, I think uh, whatever uh, whatever they find out through all this I'm sure he'll deal with it uh, you know b better than uh, better than any of us expect him to know he's just a, a heck of a guy so we're all behind him 100 percent go right over here and then we'll go to Shannon Ruth Kelly with let's talk racing with you doing the black back flips, has Jack Roush um, kind of said anything about that? Afraid that you might get hurt, or I, he's he's kind of pointed out that he doesn't think it's the best idea, but he seems to be all right with it. You know, Jack's kind of a risk taker himself, so you know he started. He, he doesn't really tell people what risks not to take. The only advice Jack's ever had for me is if you're going to be dumb, you got to be tough, and and. Uh, so he, he's okay with it. Thanks for your concern, though. I appreciate that. Go over here to Shannon. Shannon Spake, ESPN. Just wondering how much you guys are using this weekend's race and this weekend's practice as sort of a, a test session for when we come back um, in September. Oh, it's very important. I mean, you know, that everyone always says, hey, all the races are the same, you know, same amount of points for every race. But when it comes down to, to Richmond, I, I've been through a couple of those races where – it's it's extremely important and i mean all the pressures on and you pour over everything that happened in this event and try to predict the best you can how it's going to go so no matter what anyone says this one has special importance because of that and and we'll we'll be paying real close attention let's go to this gentleman here and then we'll go back to lee Hi, Billy Thelma from Richmond Times Dispatch. I uh, just wanted to cur uh, get your thoughts on how uh, the Ford FRN engine has really come on this year and you know helped out you and your teammates and the other four teams to you know take on the Chevys and the Toyotas. That FR9 engine has been great. Doug Gates and all the guys have done a great job. You know, um, we're just watching the finish at Talladega there on TV, and uh, you know the cooling package has been great. The engine cools great; it makes a lot of power. It's still in its uh, developmental infancy, so we, we still have time to make more horsepower and make gains. And I, I think that's, you know, there, there's a lot, a lot of good things in the future with that FR9. It's it's cool. Lee, right over here. <clears throat> Lee Spencer, Fox Sports. You're good friends with Coach Pinkle. What do you think about two um, the Sioux Tigers going in the first top ten of the draft? It's kind of odd to be watching TV for the draft and see all the, uh, you know, all the video of the Tigers and you know from Faro and all that stuff. That's pretty neat. So it's uh, it's impressive. Coach Pinkle is an amazing guy. You know, I don't know a lot about football, but I, I can tell you he's a Class A guy, and and I'm I'm happy for him, and and um, you know I'm I'm hoping that they have a good season this year. He's he's a, you know that that makes it Columbia, Missouri. The the better the Tigers do, the the more fun it is to, to live there in Columbia, Missouri. So uh, I'm I'm cheering for him. Go over here, and then I think Marty, do you have a question? Okay, go over here. <laughs> Damian, sort of let Danville Register be. Carl over here to your left. Uh, Travis Pastrana was in here earlier and said he's a good friend of yours and has been talking to you about this transition. You know, I guess from him from two wheels to the four wheels. Uh, he says he's gone to you. Uh, you know, he's got Michael Waltrip, Matt Crafton as his. Um, guys look up to, he's gone to Juan Pablo Montoya. What advice have you given him on this path and transition to the stock car world? I wasn't sure if we were still friends or not because I ran so poorly as his teammate in uh, Germany in the race of champions. It was like everything was great. He was so proud to be teamed up with Carl Edwards and then I, I made some terrible mistakes and he was kind of disgusted with me over there. So, uh, But uh, he's a very good race car driver. I learned that over there. He ran a lot better than I did. He has massive talent, and you know, with 
with his potential, I think what he's doing is smart, the way he's approaching this, kind of with a slow burn. You know, he's not jumping right in and, and, uh, and making mistakes on the, on the nationwide level or, or the, uh, you know, trying to make cup races, things like that. I think it's very smart what he's doing. I don't know how it went last night. What, did he have a rough night last night? I heard, but. Okay, but I mean, he knows how to race, so hopefully he'll do well, and that'll be good for all of us, and he's just a fun guy to be around, so, uh, you know, I'm, I look forward to having him up race in the Nationwide Series once he feels comfortable. Let's go right here, Dustin. Dustin Long, Landmark Newspapers. We hear so much about uh, the different tires from different tracks week to week and, right. and how that impacts things. How, how does it impact it for you? Why does it make an impact? Just four tires. There's other things you can do to the car. Um, I kind of quit asking which tires are on the race car or if they changed them or not because it, it seems like it seems like they change them every time we come to the racetrack. And if you, it's easy to get lost when you focus on them too much. Um, so what what I do as a driver is I just focus on getting my car set up, making it work the best it can. But um, but I know it's a challenge. I mean they're, they're makes it challenging when you come back to a track and the tires are different and what you had before doesn't isn't even close you know so um there's a lot that goes into trying to predict how things are going to be with new tires but as a driver i just go drive the thing as fast as it'll go and um and i try not to focus too much on it i used to pay a little bit more attention and um it just didn't seem to help me you know I mean, it's it's important to understand it, but once you you know if you really if you get mad about it, that doesn't doesn't help, you know. Any additional questions? We got time for one more. Mike Mulhern. Mike Mulhern. Mike Mulhern. dot net. Why do you think Goodyear's changing tire recommendations so frequently? Is it like just to keep you guys off balance, or is it to try to do something? I mean, man, that's there, a good question. There can't be that many new technology to us that are making these tires better is this a, this is a different tire than we ran last time well so did you ask them that because i really don't know i'm okay <laughs> well you know you can go ask right them they're right outside, outside. yeah it's a good question really i mean because i i don't know i don't know what the the deal is the it seems like they've had very safe tires lately and that's the most important thing um but i, I don't know why they change it Carl, we thank you very much for being in here, and good luck this weekend. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Have fun.